Wow, hi YouTube. Uh, can't really contain myself. Um, kids are in bed, wife's watching uh, the Italian re Renaissance on the TV, and I am bursting at the seams because I woke up uh, Christmas morning. Um, Dell from uh, Red Path Knives made me a knife, so uh, it came about a week before Christmas, wrapped it up, put it under the tree, and um, opened it up with my presence with the girls. In my last video I uh, said that uh, it had arrived and um, my brief to Dell really was to um, make me the knife that he thinks I should have and um, this is the same brief that I gave Sandy at Jack Law when uh, he was um, uh, kind enough to make me a knife and um, left the design, the colour, the sheath, everything to these guys because I perceive them as, um, you know, kind of um, master craftsmen in their own right, you know, so um, whatever materials, whatever colour, you know, um, I wanted them to produce um, uh, what my interpretation, I guess, is, is their best work, you know, and so my input in that was um, unnecessary. So, uh, anyway. I woke up Christmas morning, I just want to show you what Dell has Okay, said. so there's a little note from Dell uh, that says, Mike, thank you for your support, I hope you enjoy your new blade. Uh, I know it will serve you well, uh, as well as the Kydex sheath, I've added the Special Ops compatible insert and removal tab. The original CRF1 video highlights how all that works. Merry Christmas, brother. My best to you and yours, Dell. So, um, that's uh, the note that was I said this was my kind of greatest um, Christmas present um, it's absolutely um, incredible you know it kind of reminds me of uh, when I was back in the mill um, it's a beautiful thing I'm going to put a link to um, the video that Dell made on this knife um, it gives you all the ins and outs of uh, the manufacturing process so it gives you the um, specifications of it, length, da, 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 da. I like the fact that it is um, kind of a precision um, uh, instrument, but this really kind of rustic, random um, sort of element to the handle that kind of fits um, perfectly in the hand. I've got quite big hands. Uh, my hands are about sort of nine and a half, ten glove size, so uh, pretty big, but it is um, absolutely peachy sort of held in the hand you know first time I've really had a knife with a kydex sheath I know about them and I like this kind of locking retaining system you know the sheath is um, heat molded I think to the shape of the knife so it's unique to every knife that that particular sheath is made for um, Dell did um, give me the heads up on a sort of special ops uh, compatible um, Coty Brown um, kind of Cordura uh, sheaf, and I have obtained one of those from the Bushcraft uh, uh, store, and I'm going to be kind of giving that a whirl as well. But um, first impressions, I absolutely love it, you know. So the Kydex sheaf um, uh, today doesn't have a method of um, putting it on your belt. So um, what I've done is I've sort of gone off to uh, a friend who uh, owns a gun shop uh, who makes, sells the um, clips, the sort of Kydex sheaths, um, the Kydex clips that you would put on a holster. And I've obtained one of those and um, experimenting about uh, having it put onto the Kydex sheaf. So um, not wanting to uh, insult anybody, Let's uh, take it out of its sheath. So there's my uh, new baby. But uh, straight out of the box, let's see how we go. You didn't really expect anything else, did you? <laughs> He's also sent me this insert that goes in the uh, special ops sheath, apparently, which is um, a way of sort of making it a custom fit for the Cordura Special Ops um, 
uh, sheaf. So that's just a new insert that, like I say, it's been heat treated, specifically made for this knife. It's got the Velcro retaining pad on the back. This is a little tool that enables you to get it in and out, and I'll show you a little bit more of that in a second. But um, first impressions, I am absolutely in love with it. Simple as that. What a brilliant fit. So this is the uh, generic Special Ops sheaf. Um, they come in two sizes, long and short. This one is a short one, which just means it can take a knife with a six inch blade. This is the kind of plastic insert that goes inside it to stop your knife cutting it open. You can see it's got a Velcro pad on the back. And what it does is inside, there's another piece of Velcro and the two kind of bite together as you advance it. This is where Dell's tool comes in. They just advance it all the way in and that's how the sheath comes. And like I say, that will take any knife with a six inch blade. It's got an adjustable uh, retaining strap and obviously you just simply adjust that to the, um, the girth of the knife that you're trying to retain. It's got this little pouch on the front with uh, a um, cord leg loop. Um, not too keen about the cordage, I think I'll, I might modify that at some point. This is absolutely perfect for me because I think what I'm going to do is put my Leatherman Mute in there and um, uh, that's my kind of favourite Leatherman. So I'm kind of thinking with, with the knife, with a Leatherman, with a fire steel, maybe um, a couple of Ranger bands. I mean, if you can't get by with this on your belt, I, I, I mean, um, you know, you, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be out on your own. <laughs> um, so it's got the kind of uh, belt loops. It's got uh, snaps, and it's also got velcro. You know, so um, that is how the um, sheath is retained on your belt. The velcro locks in place, and then there's a, um, a belt loop. So. In effect, it's a sort of dangler type carry. It will, it will hang down from your belt. If you wanted to wear it up on your hip, and I do, I know all the drawbacks of uh, wearing a, a knife high on your belt. You know, in that if you if you uh, fall over, the hilt of the blade can kind of dig you quite badly in the side. But that um, you could probably get a, a, a belt through that one. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you undid this stitching to make the belt loop a bit bigger. Uh, if you wanted it to put it on a broader belt. Um, so there are all sorts of options. The Molly system just allows you to sort of carry it, you know, um, on your equipment, upside down, you know, all sorts of weird and wonderful ways that Special Ops guys carry this type of knife. So uh, it's come with its own Special Ops um, uh, insert. So I'm going to take the original one back out and I'm going to slide the one in that came with the knife that Dell has sent. So with the fitting tool you literally just kind of slide it down the back of the, the insert that releases the um, velcro and then it's just a matter of kind of easing it out of the sheath. Okay so that's the original one coming out and this is the one from Dell going in. So I can just feel the uh, Velcro starting to bite, so I'll slide the tool in behind it and then just advance it all the way in. Pull the tool out, and that should seat very nicely. So, um, put the knife in. Look at that, I mean, that is just a perfect fit the way that's been manufactured. The retaining strap again is just sort of adjusted, you know, precisely to the um, to the girth of the knife that it's going to retain and um, you know that just isn't going anywhere you know that's how it's uh, retained so this is a sort of generic you know um, general purpose uh, sheaf it's called the special ops sheaf they're not cheap i got this one from the bushcraft store um, and it was 
was about £50 delivered, which is quite a lot of money on top of the cost of your knife. But like I say, you know, if you were buying a Jack Law, if you were buying a bespoke something, I guess if there was a ballpark, I think you're probably looking at somewhere between sort of 250 and £300 to have a knife made. I've invested another 50 quid in the uh, Special Ops um, sheath. So you can see firsthand that these sort of things start to add up. But um, like I say, what I've invested in is something that I'm going to have forever. Or if at any point I want to sell it on, I feel that um, hand on my heart, uh, it will still be worth every penny that I paid for it. And um, I will get my money back. The other thing that I've kind of wanted your input in to really so um, my my Leatherman mute I just got it on my belt here so there it is um, again you know I, I got this off of uh, Sergeant Fruitcake um, but the Leatherman mute fits perfectly into this um, little pouch this the mute stands for military utility so that's my plan to sort of carry the um, the Leatherman mute in the pouch provided and the knife in the special ops sheath. The other thing that I'm thinking about that I would just like a little bit of input from yourselves is I'm thinking about fire steel. So um, I've got a couple of fire steels that I obtained from uh, Scott at Wessex Blade. So this was a little bit of antler that he um, had and made into a fire steel that I was fortunate enough to purchase off of him. And what my idea is really to put a ranger band around this um, strap that would retain the fire steel. Got two fire steels. This one um, came from Scott at Wessex Blade. It's, it's, it's a bit of antler. Uh, I bought this uh, some time ago, but I think it kind of goes, you know, in the style of the knife. I quite like that one. And like I say, I'm thinking about using a piece of ranger band to uh, hold it on. Um, and if you've got fire steel, if you've got leatherman, if you've got the knife, then I um, don't think you're going to go kind of too far wrong. If you can't rub along in the field with that, um, you probably shouldn't be out there on your own. <laughs> The other fire steel that I've got again is another one from Scott at uh, Wessex Blade, and um, it's that one. So, um, if if you fancy it, you know, just uh, tell me which one you think looks best. But um, I haven't made my mind up yet. But like I say, I'm thinking about retaining it with a Ranger band. So I'll have a Ranger band that will help me light my fire with my fire steel, with my leatherman, with the knife. I don't think I could uh, want for any more than that. So that's my latest purchase from uh, Dell at uh, Red Path Knives. I am absolutely um, bowled over by it. I can't wait to uh, take it out in the field and start playing with it. Um, this is what uh, Roach got for Christmas. I had it in my last video and just wanted to elaborate on uh, what it was and what I thought of it. Uh, thank you very much, Del, for kind of um, cracking on with it and uh, getting it to me for Christmas. Uh, really looking forward to going out in the field. So this is how I think I'm going to uh, retain my fire steel. It's just a piece of uh, bicycle inner tube, but this is obviously your range of band and it will assist you in kind of lighting your fire. But that fits over that little tab almost perfectly and uh, I think that's how I'm going to retain my fire steel. Okay now what I'm going to do is take it outside and uh, throw some sparks. Let's see uh, how good the fire steel and the knife work together. So I've got a great friend uh, Mike at Animal Tendencies. He's got a YouTube channel. don't know whether you want to check it out. He's not as active as he used to be. But he used to make these really funky um, fire lighting kits that he used to um, distribute to the scouts. Uh, this is just a typical example of what's in there, but you've got some uh, petroleum jelly, cotton wool, um, matches and a striker, a couple of fire lighters and a cardboard tube, and some um, natural strips of uh, kindling. But that's Mike's little 
fire lighting kit, I always have one of these in my bottom of my bug out bag, just as uh, old faithful for something to um, rely on. Absolutely no, one way or another, I can get. A so fire for in. all the people that asked about the rooftop tent from time to time, uh, still got it. Still doing a little bit of uh, kind of testing in. Uh, just sitting there in the garden, see how long it lasts before it starts to leak, if it needs reproofing. But the idea really is to uh, kind of upgrade it, get it back on the truck uh, at some point over the next couple of months. But uh, what I'm going to do this morning is put this knife to work, see if I can uh, do a little fire lay for you and uh, see what sort of sparks it okay, throws so up. Frosty old morning, I've just uh, grabbed a little bit of sort of dry standing off of the uh, uh, cuttings in the garden. This old tree stumps uh, frozen, but uh, I'm going to grab my little uh, fire kit out of my bug out bag. This is my homemade fire lighters, so a little bit of lint out of the washing machine, a little bit of uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly, and uh, pine cones that, I, like I say, I pick up when they're in season, when they're kind of all over the ground. Sort of thinning it out so that I can uh, stand a little bit better chance of getting a spark. I'm going to use the kind of uh, bad boy, my uh, 50 cal fire steel. Well, they're pretty good sparks, aren't they? This is dry standing that I've uh, just snapped off of uh, some dead branches that are laying at the back of the garden. But very simply, all I'm uh, doing is just sort of splitting them open so we've got a little bit more dry wood that we can uh, catch a flame with. In my fire lighting kit, I always have a couple of pine cones. Pine cones are full of pine oil, so they're kind of really edging your bets as to uh, being able to uh, to um, you know get a uh, get a fire going. This uh, wood is covered in frost. It's quite cold last night, so um, this might be a little trickier than it's uh, looking. But let's uh, see how we get on. But the sparks off of the knife, they were brilliant. No problems with that at all. Very pleased. So I think that's the end of my little kind of show and tell on my new uh, knife from uh, Dell at Red Path Knives. I'm uh, blown away by it, really happy. Like I say, there are incredible advantages to having a uh, kind of custom made um, knife. They're an awful lot of money, but invest in something you're going to have for the rest of your life. You know, this will accompany me on my outdoor adventures years and years and years to come and uh, feel quite privileged to be uh, able to look after it for a few years. Um, this is where I say uh, please thumbs up, share, like, subscribe and if you're watching on Facebook please follow. As always, any comments, love to hear them. Back soon.